a three-pronged drive on Mandalay. The central thrust from the north brings British troops within striking distance of Finway. Until they reach the open plains where armor can be employed, bullock carts and pack animals are as useful today as when the Mongol warrior chieftains fought over this jungle many centuries ago. Today, the skirl of bagpipes sounds weird in this dark green underworld. But Scotsmen marched on Pinway on St. Andrew's Day in this fashion. Away to the west in the Chin Hills, American air participation takes Mitchell bombers over Kennedy Peak to hit at Jap troop concentrations. Aircraft were called in to dislodge the Japs, firmly dug in on the summit of the peak. It was a highly successful mission. Over to the Western Front, where bombs from 9th Air Force marauders cascade out of Bombay's onto warehouses in Reich territory. One aircraft in the formation is hit from a burst of flak and explodes, shedding an engine as it goes down. Reports from Belgium all tell of the icy conditions which gripped the countryside during those vital days when Grunstedt's offensive was being broken down. Tanks would often lose traction and slide menacingly all over the place. When 16 tons of battle iron get out of hand, there's no argument about right of way. Grit and guts have turned the scales on Grunstedt. The great squeeze on Germany is on again. Thank you.